We good to go? Here's the law, real simple. If you're going to eject a passenger, under no circumstances can it be done with unreasonable force or violence. That's the law. If unreasonable force and violence is used under a set of circumstances, the common carrier, United Airlines in this case, is responsible. For each of us in this room as we bump along in a day-to-day -day fashion, we owe each other an ordinary care standard. I'm not to be careless and hurt you. I'm not to be negligent and hurt you. And I would defy anyone to suggest that there was not unreasonable force and violence used to help Dr. Dowd disembark that plane. For a long time, airlines, United in particular, have bullied us. They have treated us less than maybe we deserve. I don't believe it's limited to the airline industry. I think corporate America needs to understand that we all want to be treated in the same manner, with the same respect and the same dignity that they would treat their own family members. If they do that, wouldn't it be great? So will there be a lawsuit? Yeah, probably. It has been a very difficult time for our entire family, especially my dad. We were completely horrified and shocked at what had happened to my father when we learned of the incident. Seeing it on video made those emotions exacerbated. Um, my dad is healing right now, um, and that's all I have to say about that. I can tell you that he was discharged late last night, um, that he did in fact suffer a significant concussion um, as a result of disembarking that plane. And I can also tell you uh, that he had a serious broken nose, injury to the sinuses, and he is going to be undergoing shortly reconstructive surgery in that regard. Uh, there have been a lot of inquiries about did he really lose any teeth? Yeah, he lost two front teeth. 